welcome to this video which is in the category of spiritual nourishment and the title of this video is what is our life purpose here i am going to draw upon the wisdom of three mythologies starting with the sumerian mythology some 5000 years ago down to the greeks and the judeo christian mythology we have been told of our life's purpose as to reach the status of the gods. Let us take the Sumerian mythology first. We have God Anu, the sky god, who sends down Enlil and Enki to organize the mining of gold which they require for their planet Marduk. And they know earth has got the potential, so they come down to the earth and then they start the activity of mining. But they find the task being very tough they want to create slaves who could do their job. So Enlil genetically manipulates the female of the Homo sapiens to become slave laborers without reproduction capacity. So they are more like robos. But Enki, who is more compassionate, as these slaves look very much similar to the gods, and these slaves are creation of God, decides to give them full attribute to humanity and give them the capacity for reproduction. The independent voice and function of human angers Anu and his governing council in the sky. They decide to destroy this creation. The daughters of men are beautiful and the Anunnakis, the sky people, fall in love. Their children are giants and strong who are called Nephilim in the Bible. Sky God doesn't like this, so he orders that humanity should be destroyed and the flood mythology follows. This particular mythology has a deep meaning of the purpose of the humans who were created in the image of God. Now let us move to the Greek mythology. Zeus, who feels the need for worship from his creation, sends down his son Prometheus to create human beings to worship God. Prometheus creates beautiful beings using clay and calls on Zeus to inspect the works. Zeus chooses the figurine modeled after the image of the gods and Prometheus breathes to these figures to give them life. Zeus orders that these beings created to worship God should be denied access to the divine fire, which is the highest level of consciousness. But Prometheus takes pity on these created things and steals the fire of heaven and gives it to the people. Prometheus' act was not very nicely taken by Zeus. He punishes him for that act. We now come to the Judeo-Christian mythology of Genesis. God creates human beings but doesn't give them the fruit of knowledge because as the snake says, if you eat the fruit, you will become like God. Eve, the mother and progenitor of the humanity, prompted by the serpent, which symbolizes the kundalini energy in every human being, eats the fruit from the tree of knowledge. This opens their eyes to their sexuality. They are banished from the Garden of Eden, which symbolizes individuals have to now work for their rediscovery of the bliss of Garden of Eden. All these mythologies point out to the primary purpose of life is for man to aspire to become God. This is the very purpose of creation. This deeply implies that the created potential, in whatever form it is created, must have the same inherent potential as the creator, but in a subdued form. This is the reason Theodore Chardin, the Jesuit anthropologist and theologian, said that everything, all creation, the entire cosmos, is moving towards the omega point. So it is our basic purpose of life to aspire to become gods. Now, we will come to the Bible reading where Jesus says after he sent out his disciples to perform miracles in his name and when they return and say that they have done wonders in his name, he says in John 14 verse 12, Truly, truly, I said to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do and greater works than these they will do because 
Christ being the son of God, if he is able to do some great works, and if man is given that capacity, he has to transcend the divinity of even Christ, which is ultimately meaning deeply that we have to aspire to become one with the highest level of consciousness. This implies that everyone has the potential inbuilt to become gods. This is the aspiration of our life, to move towards the highest consciousness level, the supreme consciousness. This is what I want to leave with you in this presentation. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you.